Deciding why you want to learn the language is step one in your language learning journey. One that needs to be strong enough to keep you going when it gets tough. Whenever we set our minds on learning a new skill, we always find ourselves asking the same questions. How am I going to do it? And even more often, when am I going to do it? Learning a language requires discipline, good time management, and a lot of well-informed mental planning that is specific and well-targeted. This is where a study plan comes into play. Some people would argue that having a good study plan is one of the hardest parts of their language learning journey. Remember that learning a language isn't just about deciphering sounds and symbols, nor is it about collecting points and stars on Duolingo. True proficiency is achieved by most adult learners through their passion, commitment, willpower, and a rock-solid study plan provided either by a great tutor or made by the students themselves. But if you can't afford a tutor or you just prefer to learn by yourself, in this video, we'll give you our top tips on how to build a good study plan that works for you. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We are a team of polyglots, lecturers and linguists who make videos about learning languages with understanding, giving our best tips and resources from over a decade of teaching and learning languages. You can also subscribe to our newsletter to stay up to date with our videos and blog posts and receive free resources, as well as a free ebook, How to Learn a Language, Eight Rules from a Polyglot, written by me. The importance of a good study plan and curriculum. We can't stress enough the importance of a good study plan. A self-taught complete beginner will usually go into language learning like gym newbies go to the gym. A bit timidly, overly excited, pumped, and most importantly, not having a clue of what they're doing. This leaves gym newbies without a workout plan prone to injuries, years of bad form, muscle imbalances, and with some newbie gains that will make them think they are doing great. However, they always plateau after a while and never truly progress to an athlete level. Usually, they have to go back to the beginnings and relearn how to train correctly. A language learner without a study plan will go through the same. They will usually accumulate a massive number of mistakes that become habitual. Linguistic cognitive imbalances at all levels of production and they will think that they are doing amazingly because, well, they are speaking the language. This leads to a false belief that if they just keep doing more of the same, they will improve. Usually what happens is they stay at the same level and speak their own broken version of the language. If they are more self-aware and dedicated, they seek out professional help who will most likely have to reteach them everything. I have had students like these and it can be a nightmare having to detangle the wrong wires, so to speak. My advice is to save yourself time and money and just do it right from the start. What does a study plan do? A good study plan will offer you structure and support. It is a plan based on a well-established and tested curriculum that challenges you, but also provides enough room and time for adaptation of knowledge. It will set realistic standards and it will inform you on what your next steps should be so you are able to assess and progress. Without a study plan, you are actually doing more damage than you can imagine. Most adults don't just pick up a language like children, despite recent popularization of this disproven theory. They require an educated approach and time. It is your choice whether you decide to build a study plan yourself or you pay a professional to do it. Whatever you do, just do your research, inform yourself, teach yourself how to, reach out to professionals and ask for advice. If you do hire a professional, remember that not everyone on the internet has your best interests at heart. It takes professional principles of honesty and integrity to tell a potential student that it will take years to learn a language when they have the choice to go with 10 others who claim they can do it in three months. Before we give you our top tips, 
always keep in mind that we all have different priorities, schedules and preferences. So try to adopt, but also to adapt these eight tips to best suit yourself. Understand your goals and plan around them. Knowing why you want to learn a certain language is a very powerful motivator. It is also a very important fact that we need to have in mind when building a study plan. The most successful language learners are those with a strong reason. Deciding why you want to learn the language is step one in your language learning journey. One that needs to be strong enough to keep you going when it gets tough. Ask yourself, do you want to build up your CV? Maybe your dream job or dream country requires you to speak it. Maybe you are just in love with the people and the culture. Perhaps you want to improve your cognitive skills. Maybe you are a linguist nerd. Whatever it is, live it and do it. Next, you need to understand your goals and make sure they are realistic. To what level do you want to speak? read and write? Do you just want to be able to understand the language? Which register do you want to dominate the language in? Business? Colloquial? Academic? Do you just want to be conversational or fluent? What is the realistic time frame you can achieve that in? Be realistic and focus on yourself. Again, be realistic. If you're not, the disappointment can be so great as to put you off from learning. You will find an abundance of people online saying how easy it was for them. Try to focus on yourself despite the temptation to compare. We all have different cultural and educational backgrounds that can help or further complicate language learning. Additionally, you don't know how high other people's standards of fluency are. You can only speak for yourself, literally. Understand also that the internet is full of false polyglots and that even if they aren't lying, there is nothing wrong with you but there might be something wrong with your study plan. Study smart and according to your goals. Obviously, learning some Italian because you'll be visiting Rome in six months isn't the same as wanting to reach proficiency that will enable you to read literature and speak with natives at their level. These two different goals do, however, have one thing in common. They both require that you distribute your attention equally to reading, listening, writing and speaking as these four learning activities are essential to learning a language at any level. Currently, it is very common to just start by speaking and disregard all other skills. This will halt your fluency. What will differ then is how much time you put into it over a longer prolonged period of time consistently. Let's imagine two students. For example, this is how the schedule of the student number one might look like. The one hour in the morning, in the case of student number one, might be the only time in the day the person is able to squeeze in language learning. This can be a guided hour or self-taught. Either way, it will produce limited results. Input, or put simply, things we are learning, requires time to pass from temporary memory to long-term memory, where it will then form part of your knowledge after a while. And how does that happen? Through carefully planned and spaced out repetition. During the time window from when it was originally received, the input needs to be reinforced further through repetition and revision to become knowledge. Repetition has to include practice, analysis and review, or else the input will probably be forgotten. One hour per week is usually not enough repetition for most students, especially if they are self-taught. In the case of student number two, we combine assisted systematic teaching, which is what most people who wish to reach fluency level go for, with some out-of-class independent study hours to reinforce the subjects learned during guided hours. This is done over the spread of years, not in six months like some people would like you to believe. This is because most of learning for tourist purposes will consist of memorizing useful phrases. In the case of the student number two, they want to be able to use the language independently to talk about different concepts and ideas. That takes time and hard work. To summarize, when building a study plan, plan for evenly spaced out repetition that includes practice, review and analysis after the initial input to allow for learning to occur. With a teacher, this should also include feedback. Develop a realistic routine. If your plan to learn a new language sounds something like, 
I'll learn Spanish in the next six months by studying three hours a day. Chances are you are soon going to crash and burn and won't reach a third of your goal. That is unless you have absolutely no other commitments in your day, you are younger or already have a knack for languages and have learned a few before. Then you might get far in six months. We believe and know that our brain needs a lot more than six months to adjust to the complex system that is a language. With that being said, Ask yourself how much time can you realistically devote to carefully studying a language. If all you can manage are three hours per week of independent study, then schedule those three hours in and don't skip them. Consistency is the key, no matter how many hours a week you put into it. It's better to study three hours per week spaced out than nine hours in one day per week because our brains have more time to process the knowledge and for it to set in and then be built upon. Schedule study hours. We advise all our adult students to buy a whiteboard and write out their daily schedules. Put in your work hours, your hobby hours, your family hours, and once once it's all transparently out there in black and white, you'll be able to see where you have your spare time and discover where you have been wasting time. Schedule in your language learning study hours and stick to it no matter what. Remember that slow and spaced out 10 minutes per day is better than any crash course in the long term if your goal is fluency. Know your resources and curriculum. In today's world, everything's pretty much one click away. So if you have a textbook that you use, but you are not quite happy with it, or you just want more, or if you're learning on your own, finding a plethora of resources won't be a problem. Knowing which ones to pick will be. But the biggest mistake people make is that they start learning a language without a good curriculum, especially if they have never previously studied foreign languages. A good textbook is mostly judged based on the curriculum it covers and how it covers it. A good tutor or school combine many to build their own optimal curriculum that will best serve their students. Additionally, there are other resources out there to help reinforce other aspects of your language learning journey, such as developing your listening skills. If you are a beginner, try searching for podcasts focused on language learning. They will guide you through grammar and vocabulary in a similar way a textbook would, all the while sharpening your listening skills. If you are a more advanced learner, you can go for podcasts that are not adapted for language learners. The topic depends on your interests. You can listen to something you're genuinely interested in outside of your target language. Listening to something you are genuinely interested in is a great motivator. Just bear in mind that podcasts alone won't make you a proficient user of the language. Hold yourself accountable and motivated. Adult life can be unexpected, disruptive and distracting. So if you are undertaking this journey by yourself, you might want to find a way to keep yourself accountable. We get many couples and friends who want to learn together, competing and keeping each other in check. If that's a possibility for you, it's worth asking yourself, would having company while studying only distract me or would it truly keep me motivated? When you struggle to sit down and study, and even the best of us have struggled, your goals and reasons should be strong enough to keep you going. A useful method you can do to motivate yourself is the visual visualization exercise. Imagine yourself speaking fluently in your target language. It is more powerful than you might think. Having a great tutor, however, remains definitely the best and the most reliable way of keeping yourself accountable. A good tutor should always be your number one cheerleader and coach first. Beyond offering top quality expertise, they should give you honest feedback and hold you accountable. And this leads us to our next point. Check your progress on a regular basis. Have you ever gotten excited about starting something new, but then gotten discouraged just a couple of months later, if not sooner, when you don't see any results? Tracking your progress isn't only about assessing your level of knowledge. It's also about knowing where you went wrong, why something didn't work out, and what areas you need to improve on. Now, this is very hard to do on your own, but you can try doing this by taking online grammar tests for a specific level or self-assessment tests for your level that often come alongside workbooks. We have built one of our own self-assessments for Spanish learners 
that you can check out in the description. The only problem with these is that they will often give you the answers without explanation. This is why having, again, a good qualified tutor covers both points we discussed, holding you accountable and giving you honest, well-targeted feedback that will steer you in the right direction. That being said, it is worth remembering that learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint, and so the results might take a while to show. I hope this video will help you build a better study plan for yourself, knowing what things you should focus on, and give us a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe for more quality language learning advice in the future. If you want to learn Spanish with us, or prepare for an exam, you can contact us by filling out a form down in the description. Before any enrollment, we offer a free assessment meeting where we discuss or potential students' goals, set targets, and create custom offers. Thank you for watching, and always remember, learn to understand.